Connor McLean was born with a medical condition affecting his whole body. But the cheeky 10-year-old Ray Martin first introduced us to more than a decade ago only ever looked on the bright side of life. Now at 22, through no fault of his own, Connor faces yet another hurdle. And is your pain relief sorted again? Yeah, it is. was. Connor McLean is the only person in Australia with this condition. I would love to get out here, but I'm very anxious and very stressed with being even in here. And he could be the most operated on person in the country, but it's not the medical condition that's stressing him at the moment. We just have so much on top of everything, it's just like another thing coming on. You have not a trouble in the world when you hear Connor McLean's story. For a start, he has never eaten food or had a drink in his entire life. Something happened to his foetus when he was growing. It left him with a rare syndrome where nearly every bone and organ has been damaged or doesn't work. At 10 years of age, he was up to operation number 40. Now at 22, Mum Cheryl has... I've lost count. But for a rare moment in his life, Connor doesn't need to be in the hospital right now. I keep saying to my mum, I just want to go home, I just want to go home. But he can't. So he's a bit depressed at the moment though, and very down because... Of what you're both going through, yeah. And um, it's just really sad that he's... he's in hospital. She's been struggling alone with Connor since he was two. How do you cope? I just do. Then a few days ago, a water pipe burst in their rented accommodation. They were with doctors at the time, and while they were out, the water drowned every possession they had. Every single corner of our villa was absolutely flooded. On top of everything else going on in their lives, they were immediately turfed out of their home. Handed me a termination notice. So the property was deemed unlivable because of all the water damage. Connor was kept at the hospital and Cheryl... So I slept in the car the first night. They're thankful, however, they weren't at home at the time. He would have probably been electrocuted, maybe, because he was plugged in, everything was underwater, all the power boards, everything. Although that's not playing on Connor's mind right now, you see, after a lifetime in hospital with no school or friendships, he found mates on his PlayStation, but that was destroyed in the flood. My socialising is through Xbox or PlayStation. That's the one thing I get to do and have that nice communication with people, and it's just gone now. Along with that inspiring smile he's carried since he was young. We have followed Connor's journey since he did that story on 60 Minutes with Ray a dozen years ago. That's my gastrostomy. Gastrostomy. A secostomy. Secostomy. And appendicovesicostomy. Yeah, all these ostomies. You're full of ostomies, aren't you? Fantastic. That's amazing. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm a worry, aren't I? You are a worry. So that bloody burst pipe should have happened in my house or yours, not his because once they were turfed out, they say they never heard from the real estate agency or landlord about their future. No, no, nope. there's been nothing. It was like I said, I was just a mess because it was like... They've not invited you to come back? Nope. Oh. So I took myself down to the agency and they gave a written guarantee that Cheryl and Connor could come back after it was all repaired. The fans are drying the place out. The agent got onto the insurers and builders immediately, and they hope it may all be done by Christmas or after New Year. But Cheryl's emergency accommodation ends tomorrow, and Connor can't stay in the hospital for much longer. So where do they sleep for the next five to six weeks? I don't know. It always seems to be we're in the too hard, too hard basket. Well, we couldn't let them be homeless or stress about their immediate future any longer. So we made a few calls. 
Good morning. Hello. Hello. How are you guys? And got some news on their emergency accommodation. There was a little bit of insurance on the place and the insurance company has agreed to let you stay there for a few more weeks, which is terrific. That's good. And That's I've been talking to the Family and Community Services Department and Prue Goward, the Minister, and they've then agreed that you need to have this emergency housing and you can stay there as long as you need to. Be that into 2019 until your old home is fixed. That is lovely, thank you so much. It's a pleasure, oh, mate. They, everyone wanted to help, Seriously, so that is a relief. Thank you so no, much. it's a pleasure. Oh, Do you want to have a hug? Oh, mate, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, pal, it's a pleasure. Since you guys got involved, oh, it's been brilliant. amazing. But I had one more thing. Mate, I found one of these. Could you help me out and take it off my hands for me? A PlayStation Pro. I know nothing about it. Oh, look at you. It's <laughs> more hugs. Oh, you're a legend. Well, it's Christmas. Oh, exactly. oh Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, buddy. <laughs> Some people just battle too much, don't they? Cheryl and Connor are left with very few possessions, but at least they have a roof over their heads now.